What's your current reason for being unhappy? I'm unhappy because I'm becoming increasingly aware of the enormous flaws in my personality, work ethic, and character that are preventing me from making the most out of this life. There's nothing worse than realizing you've been given so many opportunities and advantages and squandered them all. There's nothing worse than realizing you've been given so many opportunities and advantages and squandered them all. There is one worse thing, never realizing you've squandered them all. Stuck in a job and industry I have no interest in. Drive to work is 90 minutes each way. Pay is good though, and I have kids and financial responsibilities that prevent me from throwing it all in. Also the job is so out of the way that to get to interviews for others is very, very hard. But even then I'm only qualified in a small field that I have tried very hard to get out of in the last 5 years but have yet to be able to. I understand you're in a hard and unhappy time. But just know I'm proud of you for simultaneously supporting your family while trying for 5 years to find the job that makes you happy. You are an inspiration to me. I just moved to a new city and know no one. I'm extremely lonely. I haven't had a close friend to talk to for almost a year now. If you ever need to talk to anybody, if you're feeling lonely, PM me. I get really lonely too, so I know how much it helps to just have someone to listen. It'll listen to you. Thanks. It is always nice to know someone out there is willing to listen. How was your day today? Pretty shit I actually. I found out the lease my roommate gave me to sign was not actually legal but was just a photocopy of the lease she signed a few months ago. Now if she does not get me on the actual lease I can be kicked out of my apartment at any time. She is out of town for the next month, and if she doesn't contact the leasing office by the end of the week then I'm homeless. How was your day today? My financial aid just got denied for full semester. I have no way to pay for school, or for the house I signed the lease with back in January. The lease starts August 1st and school starts the 21. I have no idea what to do, and I can't take out any private loans. I'm terrified. Oh man. That's a tough situation. I'm sorry to hear that things are getting into a bind. Have you considered reaching out to family for help? It's hard for me to offer suggestions or a solution because I haven't been in your shoes. But I hope things turn out okay in the end for you. I'm worried my future is going nowhere. I've put all I have into being a musician and have no backfall because I used to believe in myself. Listen, even if you don't believe in yourself, I do. I have no fallback plan on my life either. But that is what makes sticking to your convictions all the more important. What instrument or instruments do you play? Thank you it really means a lot to hear kind words. I play guitar, piano, drums, bass, ukulele, and kind of sing. Music is the only thing I've ever been good at, and it's just scary to think of the fact that it might not be a supportive career choice. Just moved back to the US after 6 years in Asia. I sort of feel out of place. How so? Culture. Socially. Is there any way I can help make you feel more at home? I don't know. That's the problem. It's been a while since I last refreshed the page. So I'm sure Opt has probably already replied to you. Is this unhappiness constant or common, or does it come and go sporadically? I'm no stranger to the occasional fit of unexplainable melancholy. I have plenty of words for it, but sometimes even the smallest thing can turn it around. If only for a bit, it mostly comes and goes, depending on a number of different factors, but it is definitely a daily occurrence. I live in a house that costs me a small fortune to upkeep. I do not want to live in it, nor do I want to live with the people in it. At the same time I simply can't abandon my own family, so I've chosen to deal with it the hard way. I have plenty of friends, hobbies and general things that normally contribute to a person's happiness, but I rarely ever even experience or feel emotions. I've never been in a relationship, fear of commitment, issues with low self-esteem. Anxiety and a combination of other problems have made my early 20s rather difficult whenever it came to social interaction. I've reached quite a few milestones and have been doing massively better in the last couple of years. Now in my mid-20s, I've even somehow miraculously managed to reach out to a female acquaintance from a few years back who, so far, has responded relatively positively to my reaching out. This was near impossible for me to do years ago, so I'm proud as f of this seemingly pathetic and small feat. The problem is that I haven't a clue what I'm doing. 
As previously mentioned, I'm constantly in some sort of odd state of fear, that I cannot identify for the life of me, I feel as though I will never get anywhere, despite the entire ordeal coming along much better than I would have ever expected. So far, I've learned far too much through experiencing a multitude of failures, when it came to dealing with the opposite six. I know not to repeat the same mistakes again. However my knowledge on the complex subject of sharing something beautiful with a significant other is absolutely null. And I simply assume it will be that way for the rest of my life. I guess I dwell too much on the thought that no one would ever be willing to offer me a chance. Just because of the way I've been my entire life. It has not bothered me until the aforementioned female acquaintance asked some mind-effingly complicated questions I had a difficult time answering. Since no one has ever challenged me in such a way, ever, it really got me actually pondering, rather than immediately brushing it off. Anyway, I should stop, before I write a novel. Loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that. We can be lonely together, if you want. Sounds like a plan. My son is a heroin addict. Ouch. I'm sorry to hear that. What's he doing now? Rehab. Jail. Streets. Methadone program. Today was day 18 of 21 day program, and I got a call from his counselor that he's missed a couple of days. He says he's okay now and that's why he didn't go back. He was down to 10 milligrams. I want to believe him. Op. Try compassionpeat.com. If you like to listen and help people, thank you, friend. I will. I looked into that site, and it seems to be down for the count. I did find an alternative site, which is blatherapy.com. Hope this helps. I'm unattractive, and it's hard to accept. Attractiveness is only a very small part of who you are. People that immediately rule you out, because of that aren't worth getting to know anyway. So, what are you like underneath that skin? You're a nice opus. I'm a multitude of things, I suppose. Generally, my focus is a science, film, and music. Those dominate my time spent. Here's something strange that I learned. As one unattractive person to another, let me tell you that only part of attractiveness is how you look naked. A big part of it is the care you take in your appearance and your attitude. A stylishly dressed, well-groomed look with some confidence behind it will overcome a lot of natural unattractiveness. Every single guy in the last year that I've talked to has either taken me out on a date and never talked to me again, talked to me for a month or so, and then drop off the face of the earth, or allow me to for once take a next step and ask him if he was interested in going out, to which he said no, even though he was leading me on 100%, it kind of takes a hit on your self esteem. I understand that you can start to be hard on yourself for being alone after a while, because I've been alone for a very long time. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find someone worth caring about. In rank of most painful. 5. I'm 33 and I have no clue as to what I'm gonna do with my life. 4. I'm currently living with my folks. 3. My car is non-functional and I don't think I can fix it. 2. I have a cyst on my ball sack that has gotten infected and my sack has swollen up like a softball. 1. Last month my girlfriend dumped me and I miss her so. Gonna address number 4 first. Go to a doctor man. That's not safe. Man, it sucks to not know what you're going to do with your life. I hope you find something that you love doing and pursue it with every last bit of strength you have. There's nothing wrong with living with your folks. They love and support you and they'll be there for you when you need them. A non-functioning car is a good excuse to start biking. It couldn't hurt to be healthy right? I'm sorry to hear about your girlfriend. I suppose these things happen to everyone, and I'm sure you'll find another person that's even better to take her place. The biking better wait until number 4 is addressed. It could hurt to be healthy. If Black the Hawk were to sit on the saddle of a bike, it might hurt his softball nut. If it makes you feel better, Stanley didn't create Spider-Man until he was 40. I'm poor, unstable, angry, and pretty much a failure. I feel hopeless as a poor, unstable, angry. Failure in college. I can assure you that nothing is ever hopeless. It's just a lot easier to focus on the bad stuff. What are you doing with your life currently? Well, I'm still in high school, but it seems like everything I attempt to do ends in serious failure and it's a loss of money and it's really terrible. My boyfriend of 5 years decided he doesn't see a future for us and broke up with me last week. He got to keep our dogs and cat. 
pretty unhappy right now. I'm so sorry to hear that. You'll find someone else worth loving. These things heal with time. My dog recently developed a neurological disease that causes him to barely be able to walk. He stumbles and falls all the time. Most of the day he sleeps and snaps at us. If we try to take him outside, the vet said it will probably go away on its own. But trying to take care of him and knowing it might not get better is very upsetting. Also we had to put our cat down two weeks ago for problems unrelated to our dog. Just a bad month pet wise, I guess. I'm sorry to hear that you lost a friend and that the other is having some health trouble. I'm in love with my best friend but will never get to be with her. It's time to move on friend. You're in one of the most painful spots you can be and you cannot stay there. Inbox me at any time if you need to talk about it some more. There's just this gnawing voice in me that tells me I'm gonna die eventually and life is meaningless. On paper, my life is amazing. But I have to force myself to not think about my impending death and non-existence several times a week. I'm 26, unmarried with no kids. Is this a sign of depression? I don't know if this is a sign of depression. I think everyone can experience depression differently. But what I do know is that life is amazing. Everything in this universe is made out of hydrogen and time. Why the f should life exist in all of that? It's incredible to me. And I think exploring that existence is worth something to me. That's just what I think of sometimes when I'm thinking about the futility of life as well. If that isn't your cup of tea, then just live a life that you'll be proud of and screw the judgment or trying to rationalize it. Good luck my friend. Everything is made out of hydrogen and time. But there's music. We live in a universe that has taught itself to make music. Think about that. Hydrogen plus time equals music and art and writing and dreams and the terrible jokes the people I love tell and people who want to listen. Because even on one of the most frequented sites in the world, so many people feel sad and alone. The universe is trying to make itself better. I was a biologist. The things we learn about life and the universe are mind-blowing and elegant. But I can't imagine how amazing some of the vast amount of stuff we don't know must be. There's just too much. And maybe death is just something we don't get much advance info about. Everything ends. But we had to begin and persist to learn that. I think that's just how the story is supposed to go. All I can do is be grateful that, even though the fact that I happened once at all in such a vast universe probably means it'll happen again, and I won't be so lucky, even if it's only this once, I got to look at it all, and maybe even understand a little of it, and just sit in awe at what time has made from matter. Thanks for listening. I hate my face, my body, my voice, I hate myself. Can I just say all of your replies and PMs mean a lot to me? Even though you guys are strangers, you're very kind and helpful. Tell me about yourself. Not your body, but your personality. What do you like? What do you hate? I like animals, classical music, Korean culture, drawing and watching people do macup. The only thing I really hate is having to get out of bed for anything. And people who talk a lot. We all are handed a hand of cards when we are born. Some are flushes four of a kind, etc. Some are just random clutter that amount to a bad hand. And some, like a straight or a flush, are a good selection of cards. Sure, a flush will put you in your favor, but if you fold, what good did that flush do? Now, take the guy who got a hand. No straight, four of a kind, just a hand with no hope. He doesn't fold, he plays it off, and adds to the pot. Time goes on, adds again, more time passes. He adds more, then, finally, he calls and wins it all. Why? Because he accepted his shtai hand whether he liked it or not. He took what he had, and made the most of it. F hating yourself, you are you, and that is amazing. Even the shtiest person has some potential. In the end, it's just up to the one holding the cards. Family favoritism, and we are not kids anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you can get out of that toxic environment. I'm way too self-conscious about my body. I know I'm not ugly or anything, but I just always feel the need to hide my body and cake on a load of makeup. This seems to be a lot of people's issue. Everyone's appearance is only an extremely small part of who they are. I'm sure you're a fantastic person underneath that. And anybody who judges you by just your outside isn't worth getting to know in the first place. Op. 
This is so sweet. I wish I could upvote everything you ever post. AWW. Shucks. I seek no recognition. My life motto has always been to leave the world in a better condition than when I entered. Then quietly take my leave. It. Awesome op. AWW. Shucks. Back home for the summer from college, I realized that none of the people I grew up with in high school with are actually my friends. I miss my real friends at school. I'm at college working for the summer and all of my friends went home. It's a good thing I can talk to them over phone or via social media. There's always a connection to someone, even if they're not there in person. I'm sure you could find other ways to connect with your real friends. Stay positive. See I guess the only thing I'm actually sad about is working full time, when I could be making trips, to hang out more often, but hey, gotta pay for school somehow. An ended friendship, really messed me up, why did it end? Recently experimented with a drug, that sent me into a full on mental breakdown in front of my closest friends. So I've been feeling lonely, embarrassed, and hopeless all at once. My breakdown centered around my insecurities of messing up my college application, which means that, while my friends go on to forge new lives, I'm forced to stay behind in my small town, and go to community college instead, all alone. And the nagging feeling, that my friends see me as more of a burden to their lives than as an addition. I know this will probably get buried under all the other comments, but I just need to let it out. There are people 2 years younger than me who have their sh together. I'm out of high school with hardly a handful of friends. No girlfriend. I was never invited to a party. Didn't get my license until earlier this year. I'm not even making $1000 per month. I don't have enough time to work on my programming or my music. And nothing ever changes. I guess you could say I'm in a rut. I'm sorry to hear that friend. It sounds like you have a good reason and the willpower to make a change in your life. Is there anything that you'd like to start doing? It looks like Op is responding to pretty much every comment and is trying to make the commenter a little less unhappy. Op, you're pretty rad. I'm having a hard time keeping up, but god damn it, I will respond to everyone. What's gonna be really interesting is seeing how my inbox explodes overnight, and how I'm gonna do answering all these questions on my phone at work tomorrow. You're a good one Opus, you stick around and maybe, just maybe, the internet will be a better place. Op, give me an internet hug. Hugs redid gold for you, you little internet Jesus. I can't see my forehead, try using a mirror, I was perfectly happy till I came here, and realized I can't see my forehead. Thanks bud. Steam sales are taking my money. Find some free flash games to play. Avoid any text with Aurora in it. No need. I have all these Steam games. No more hot pockets. Oh no. Where have they gone? Can you get any more? Op is sincerely concerned. PLS respond. Well I met a girl at my friends. Housed in the mountains of PA. Her and I were literally perfect. And we are still talking and stuff. It's just that I'll never see her again. I live in New York City, I'll miss the way her hair smelled of watermelons and bliss, and how she knew how to snuggle in just, right so that the contour of her body fit mine perfectly, I miss her laughter, the light chuckle, or her hearty giggle, that I managed to entice out of her every now and then, and how her hair tumbled so smoothly like a waterfall over her shoulders, I miss how, when I pushed her on the swing she would lean back just a little to have her back touch my chest as I pushed her along her merry way, we text all the time, and we are always talking about going on dates and such and life in general once we are older. But it's scary right now. I miss her. And I just said goodnight to her. I don't know what it is. But I think I'm in love. Hey man. I'm sure you'll find a way. To see her again. And you know you're in love. If all the songs start to make sense. Good luck. Friend. You know you're in love. If all the songs start to make sense. So wise. Inversely. A favorite quote of mine is yeah think anyone ever had a breakup so bad, that cold play made sense. No major problems for me, just came to say op, you are a great person, and making people's lives better, even if it's just by a small amount, doing God's work, thank you. I'm in love with someone who isn't my husband, sounds like a tough situation, you should consider finding someone to discuss it with, my inbox is free if you need. This is like my wife, she's seeing another man, he's fat and grumpy and nearly bald, and I know she sees him naked often during the day, when I'm at work, 
The worst part is, I can't even hate the guy. I sort of like him too. 37 weeks pregnant. Not unhappy. Just over at point lol. It'll be over soon. You're about to start a whole new adventure. I'm about to start my last year of high school. Not as sad or depressing as others in this thread. But it doesn't make me happy. As a guy who graduated high school. You should know that high school is only a very small part of your life. What follows is a much larger and much more important adventure into the real world. And it defines who you are a lot more than high school ever will. You should be excited to be so close to that. And I wish you the best of luck in your senior year.